Hey folks, Jeremy McGowan here. Uh, now, as you have undoubtedly seen uh, over the past several weeks or months, I've been harping on the idea of data, data, data. Give me data with the photographs. And you've probably heard me say that I'm not going to spread conjecture or give opinion on anything. Well, I'm about to break that idea. Um, I want to talk to you for a few minutes about this alleged photograph that is still apparently circulating on Cipernet uh, in regards to uh, what is being described as one of the most crystal clear photographs of a black triangle ever taken uh, as it emerges from the water, a uh, photograph snapped by a naval aviator. Um, we've all heard these rumors. We've heard the rumors about this photograph, so I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about that. What I am going to say is I don't think it is what we think it is or I don't think it is what we hope it to be. Now, I may be wrong, but I'm in the camp thinking that this would be absolutely fantastic and it would just absolutely drive disclosure forward if this was to be outed by the U.S. military or the United States government as being a legitimate photograph of a craft from non-terrestrial origins. That would be fantastic to see happen. Um, I don't think that's the case. And I personally think that the photograph is probably a very long con uh, in, in, in a process by which certain offices or agencies or individuals uh, deep within this conversation at uh, both private and governmental levels have been perpetrating against the American people for disinformation, to cloudy the waters, uh, maybe not even for a specific end goal other than to create confusion and fog in this subject. And I'll tell you why I believe that. And again, this is just simply personal belief. I have no facts to back this up. I have no data to back this up. I have not seen the photograph. I have talked to people who claim they have. I have talked to people who have claimed that they have seen this photograph on Cipernet. And that's one of the problems that I have. So, for those of you who do not know, Cipernet is... Well, it's an internet protocol. A government-owned internet protocol. Um for the storage and, uh, and indexing of classified information. Now, it's one of three systems that the United States government utilizes for sensitive or classified information. Centrex, Centrex is, or Cin Centrixis, however you want to pronounce it, is the first. Now, this, is, this stands for Combined Enterprise Intelligence Exchange System. Combined Enterprise Intelligence Exchange System. This is for confidential information. Not highly classified, but just confidential information. The next is what everybody is associating the Black Triangle photograph with, which is CIPRNET. CIPRNET stands for Secret Internet Protocol Router Network. Secret Internet Protocol Router Network. This is where everything that is classified at the secret level is indexed and cataloged and transmitted and discussed. Then there's a network classification that lies above CIPRNET. This is JWIX. Now JWIX stands for Joint Worldwide Intelligence Communication System. Joint Worldwide Intelligence Communication System, JWIX. This is where everything that is classified at the top secret uh, or scientifically compartmentalized information, TSSCI, is handled on the JWIX platform. Now, now that we understand what Centrixis, Cipernet, and JWIX are, ask yourself one question at this point. Why is a photograph of a potential UAP 
classified at the secret level only. Why is this not classified at the top secret level? Everything that we've ever seen come off of the CIA's reading room in regards to uh, mention of, of UAP has been top secret. It's never been just secret. Um, you know, a few of them have, but very, very few. Um, if this was a black project, if this was our own technology that had the ability to be submerged and fly and have no visible means of propulsion and uh, uh, have flight characteristics that apparently defy our uh, understanding of, of the laws of flight dynamics and physics. If we had that, do you think that would be classified at the secret level, the confidential level, or the top secret level? Okay, so if it's UAP or UFO, it would probably be classified at top secret. If it is a military tech project, it would probably be classified at top secret. The only reason that this photograph would ever be at the secret level is either because it was a horrible clerical error that caused it to be incorrectly categorized, cataloged, and classified, or it was done with intent. And if it was done with intent, we can either consider that this is part of a... Uh, a a, a plant of information designed so that when uh, China hacks our systems, which they do, that they would stumble across this and spend an inordinate amount of time analyzing and uh, and and not looking at other information, buying us time. Um, it could be planted so that if people or agencies or offices in the United States government thought that there might be a leak. They may have planted a supposedly accurate photograph or a supposedly legitimate photograph uh, in the hopes of being able to find a person or persons or avenues where this information was getting out to the public from so they could strengthen up their defenses in the network. Or it could be simply just disinformation. It may well be that factions or people or agencies or offices within our government want to cause confusion. They want to have a veil, a fog, uh, obscured uh, visuals on everything involved in this. So they put this out there knowing that it's going to get leaked. So aside from the classifications, let's take a look at how the CIPRNET actually functions. If you want to access information on CIPRNET, you have to use a security token uh, or a common access card or something that is tagged uh, with your information, with your personal information. These could be fingerprint scanners, it could be your ID card with the chip and pin, it could be a security token with a revolving code that's assigned to you, but whatever it is, is personally identifiable and directly to you. Now, you can access the system that way. Sometimes there is and sometimes there isn't traceability in knowing exactly where you went on CIPRNET. But there is definitive traceability in downloading images, downloading files, downloading documents. Those are tagged and it is known right away who is accessing what on a download because it is very, very uh, restricted to take a personal USB drive or any USB drive that doesn't contain a security token and enter it into a classified computer system for the storage of files. That's just a giant no-no and it's watched very hard. Um, so if you did have access to CIPRNET and if you were a leak of this photo to a media outlet or to social media or what have you, the only way for you to be able to do it and minimize, not even 100% prevent, but minimize your personal exposure is to print the photograph, print the photograph on an authorized printer and secret away the photo in your pocket or underneath of a folder or just get it out of the building somehow as a document. 
and then scan or photo that picture. And then that's what gets released. And you'll be able to tell, or the world will be able to tell when this photograph comes out, if it was an actual digital image or if it was a replication, a digital image of a printed picture. You can tell this. If that happens, that tells me that the leak was not authorized. If what comes out, if it comes out, is crystal clear and there's no indication that this was a copied photograph or a scanned photograph or a photo of a screen or anything like that, if it shows that this is a legitimate digital photograph, most likely with the metadata removed, but still nonetheless a legitimate digital photograph, then I am standing in the camp that's going to call BS on the authenticity or the factual authenticity of what is being represented in the photograph. Because I do not believe for one moment that our government or a faction or offices or agencies within our government would put a photograph of a black triangle, whether it be a U.S. black operations project or whether it be actual non-terrestrial craft, I do not believe that that would be on Cipernet. That would be on JWIX. Plain and simple. Uh, so, when the photo does come out, pay close attention and see if this is a photo of a photo, a scan of a photo, or a photo on a screen that would prevent the person who accessed Cipernet from being publicly identified or if this was a digital image if it is a digital image then I believe the image is rendered I believe the image was staged I would believe that the image was purposely put on Cipernet for route tracing for exposing a potential leaker or to simply create a fog and confusion around the entire topic. Which one of those, I don't know. But I do not believe under any circumstances there would have been a UAP or a black project in that detail as a photograph on Cipernet without intent. Thank you. <laughs>